What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Sizzle or Fizzle. I'm Rick. And I am your boy, Kat. Nope. It's the show <laughs> where we listen to different artists, different genres. You pick a lot of stuff for us. You decide what you want us to hear. We take a listen. We weigh it. We determine if it's good or bad. We like it if we don't, i.e., does the track sizzle or does it fizzle? And, uh, Kazzy? Motley Crue. Mm -hmm. We've done one Motley Crue song. Uh, I think it was Home Sweet Home. And I think it's been quite a minute since we did that one. Now, this one here, I'm told, is a real rocker. Uh, it's called Looks That Kill. <laughs> Bro. Yep. What am I about to get into here? Uh, yeah, 84, 80s rock music, big hair, both guys and girls. Hey, we like girls. Uh, yeah, if they give you enough time to look at them, I saw the video. Don't have enough oh. time to look at them. Oh, no, they starting off on the wrong foot. There was one well, scene, wait a minute, forget it, man. I'm mad already, you mentioned girls, that's it. Since we're contractually obligated to finish out the video, Let's take a listen to it. Motley Crue looks that kill. Hey, um, I had to back that up for a second. Okay, whoever sent this, they didn't lie. This is this is kind of a rocker right here. Um, you were right too. It is very eighties. I mean, the hair is out there, bro. Yeah, and the makeup. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> now I was a little worried about your boy Vince here. Um, at first, I thought that was a woman. You know, when he first came on and took the mic, but then he started singing. I'm like, okay, that's still Vince Neil. But um, I remembered it is the 80s. You know, this is don't shoot the messenger. This is not what I grew up on. And, you know, the farthest I went over was pop. Yes, I love the MTV days, but I didn't really, you know, get into the metal as much as, you know, just the regular rock and the pop. But uh, this this is cool so far. All right, I'm gonna shut up and I'm 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 gonna get it rolling again.
can't tell. I all like that part. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like that. <clears throat> um, especially, you know, it, it, would that be considered the uh, bridge or chorus? Or, well, it's not the chorus. Uh, yeah, the, the chorus? I couldn't tell the, the, the breakdown, the, the, that chorus part, that chorus part where they were saying, she got the looks to kill. Yeah, that. That, I like yeah, that part. That part. And I like the way, and I like the way he says, um, "That kill." Mm -hmm. Outside of that, I, I'll just say it now. I will. Mm. Wait, oh, here we go. Mm, so, so a soft uh, fizzle. Okay. Um, and I no playlist. No, hmm. no, interesting. Not, not a, not a cardio, ah. not a workout, not a nothing. Ah. Nothing. I didn't like them back then, and I don't like them right now. And there's your proof. <laughs> um, I, I, I felt different about it. I, I liked it. It, it was a nice little groove. I. I I didn't find anything in there that I didn't like. And I will say this, uh, the older as I go along and I hear more um, metal bands and stuff, I respect the fact that a lot of them are more technically proficient than you would have thought they would be um, once you start listening. Um, I don't know which member members wrote this song but hats off to them because you just hear so many things in the mix especially when you know you're listening to it loud and you got your headphones on so um hey to whoever sent the uh the uh request and said you can rock out to it uh you're not lying. you can't rock out to it nikki wrote, wrote it okay yeah um, I know they've been taking a lot of heat, I want to say lately for uh their tour because they've been using a lot of uh what do you call it? Not backing tracks, but just pre-recorded stuff. Yeah. I mean, 
if this was in the 80s, those guys have got to be in their 60s now. So um, I kind of get it. That's a whole issue for another story. But, you know, this is clearly them in their 20s and they are doing their thing. Uh, yeah, it's hokey. It's 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 the 80s, 80s hair, 80s makeup. They kind of got that apocalyptic feel. And you were right. They didn't focus on the women enough. But, you know, I didn't direct it. So I can't take the heat for it. Uh, other than that, I, I like the song. I would give it a sizzle. Well, good for you. Hey, it, it happens. There's always a difference of opinion. I, I get that. I totally, totally get that. Um, what do you guys think about it? Leave us a comment and let us know, do you like this song? Or do you not like the song? Oh, yeah. What other songs from Motley Crue can we get on? Because I'm interested now. Um, I mean, I kind of liked Home Sweet Home when we did it back in the day. You know, nice power ballad. But this right here, this was a rocker. This is what, you know, I thought I would be listening to the first time I heard Motley Crue. So give me some more. Like, share. Yeah, give him some more. I'll be here, but give him some more. All right. <laughs> Until <laughs> next time, kids, stay positive, stay blessed. And keep it moving, folks. Keep it moving. Later. Later, later.